Welcome to Quick Pro. Your friendly ally to learn tally. He I am Sunil, a tally learner at Quick Pro. At Quick Pro, I discovered how to learn tally the easy and quick way. Before joining Quick Pro, I did not even know how to open tally. I was also scared of accounts. Now I can confidently use tally not just to write accounts. I can also easily generate various reports correctly and instantly. Various types of financial, stock and payroll reports. For myself, my seniors, my auditor, my banker, my tax and other authorities. This is an actual recording of my tally learning. I sincerely wish all you tally learners can benefit from my quick pro story. This session about company creation in tally will take an hour. It consists of various multimedia sessions mixed with revision quizzes. To go further, keep solving each quiz. Based on your final quiz course, you can also win a quick pro scholarship for the complete course of tally ERP 9. Sir, my name is Krishna Prasad. I am working for My Products Immigration Consultants as an executive sales. And uh, I have been asked to take up the job of uh, uh, maintaining the petty cash expense, uh, the day-to-day -day accounting. Sir, prior to joining this Tally Quick Pro course, uh, have you opened Tally software? Uh, I have not opened Tally Yes, I have been into many uh, like classes, maybe into uh, these are into uh, 
workshops or uh, what it happens you know uh, like uh, most of the times we need to sit uh, idly and we have to listen that and sometimes to be very honest we feel drowsy and uh, but it didn't happen over here because it was quite interactive uh, the instructor was uh, like very much communicating that I'd like to talk about it and I'm looking forward to that Hi sir this is Tejas Vini I'm, I'm from SGR college and I'm a commerce student BA ECS my experience about ta about tally was awesome. Uh, I the first day itself when I started learning tally, I like I loved it. Yeah, tally quick pro, I loved it. So now now when I learn many things, I'm very excited to use it. So if I get any field or uh, any field to apply it or to do it, every uh, how much I learn to my best extent, I think I can do it. Sir, I feel joining tally. I have learnt a lot, sir. Anyway, I can help my uh, fathers and business. Suppose here uh, it is 1 for 2010 and 31 3 2011. Suppose you want to change the current period. Your this financial year is over. Now you want to start with the next. Okay, so here is a provision for you. You can change the period. Here is the key Alt F2 for changing the period. If I click on this, here it will ask you change the period. So if I change the period here, I make it 1 for 2011, 31 3, 2012. So it will also change, your period will get changed. If you want to see the previous transactions also, you can change it. That is all yeah, If I want to see the previous transactions, I have to go to period and uh, hmm, change. to make it 1 for 2009 now. If you have done the transactions, then yes. Then 31 3 2010. No vouchers entered. Now here date of last entry is no vouchers entered. Suppose now you want to uh, suppose now you want to uh, and do the transactions. So here one option is there transactions. Go for the accounting vouchers. Shortcut key is V only. V. Enter. There are four vouchers we are having. F4 for contra. F5 payment. F6 here we are having receipt. F7 F4 contra, F5 payment and F6 receipt only. Suppose you are depositing some cash in bank or withdrawing cash from the bank. That entries you have to do in contra. Okay. Now can you tell me what type of entries you can do in payment? Purchase and expenses. Like if you are paying? If you are paying creditors bills. By cash or by check. Making by the cash, payment. Okay. By cash or by check if we are making. Payment of any, any expenses. Payment of any amount. Payment of, of any expenses or any parties. Payments. So that one you can do in payment. Either by cash or by check. Both. Any types of payments made by cash or check. So we can do in a payment. Okay. With the payment. What is this called ma'am? Payment. Payment voucher. Payment voucher. Then here it is receipt. Mm. What is the use of this receipt now? Similarly, instead of payment, if we receive money, I then cash or check, we will uh, use the receipt voucher. Okay. F6. So got it now. F4, F5 and F6. Okay. Okay. F, now ma'am, if I receive the money, mm. uh, why should I do receipt only, not contra? Well, because contra is used for only company and bank transactions only. Okay, because I received money by check then? Huh, then you can do in receipt also. No, the, you said... Uh, you can make a bank receipt also. Okay. If you want to do a bank receipt, there is a provision you can create also bank receipt voucher also. Shall I tell you that one also? So if you want to create a bank receipt also, we are having a provision here. Here masters are there for creation. Masters are used for the creation only. So go for accounts info. Voucher type. You want to create a voucher only. Na? So here they have given a voucher type option. Enter. Here you can create a new voucher also. Suppose I create here bank receipt. What type of voucher it is?
So what type of voucher it is? Bank receipt, see this same list of voucher types. Which voucher you will select here? What type of voucher it is? I have to select that. Hmm. You have to select what type of voucher it is. Contra voucher. Not receipt voucher. It's a receipt because it's type of receipt only. You okay. are receiving something. So it's a receipt. Type of voucher, receipt. Abbreviation, small name it will come as CPT. Method of numbering. Method of numbering means you can, if you give automatically, your numbering will start coming automatically. This is your first receipt, second receipt, third receipt. Only for the receipt vouchers. Numbering for need receipt vouchers only. Ah, because you are creating only receipt. Bank receipt, so it for the receipt only. For payment is also separate. If you go for manual, so manually you can give your own numbering also. I give automatic here. Yeah. If you want to print it after saving the voucher, you can give it yes also. So it will get automatically print out. Now what is the key for receipt? F6. F6. Now there are two receipts. One is receipt, one is bank receipt. So you can do in this thing. I see automatically the numbering is coming first. So numbering automatic it has taken as one. One. Because no transaction you have entered. So you have given automatic numbering. So it's coming here. One only. Now suppose you want to give it manually. Okay, I want to change this. You want to do manually. So go for again escape here. Where you have created that? Vouchers. Where is the vouchers? B. Transactions. No, where we have created a voucher. What is used for creation? Tell me first that one. Creation of voucher. What we use? Where we have to go? To transactions or masters? Transactions. That is for passing the vouchers. Okay, passing the vouchers. Thank you. For masters, creations, masters, you have to go to the masters. creations. Masters here. Then, where you have to go? Voucher types. You have to go to the voucher types. Now, you have already created that voucher. You want to alter, alter it. it. So, where you have to go now? Alter. You have to go to the alter option. Enter. Bank receipt. Now, where you have to alter? The method of voucher numbering. You can select manual here. Same control A you came out. Yeah, I did the control A and so then where I go? Accounting vouchers. Now here he is asking your numbering only. Okay. So, can, so it will accept that number. Okay. So in that print out only the that number will come, the SIP number. So this way yes. use advanced configuration. Here if you give, want to give the prefix and suffix before that. Suppose I give it yes here. Starting number, automatic starting number is 1 only. Your applicable from 8 November 